sex ed teachers have read it. What is the most awkward slash cringe worthy question you've had to answer in your class? I'm a teacher in year 6, 10 plus 11 year olds, in the UK. It's the first year that children really learn and talk about sex in school. We had arrived at the actual sexual intercourse lesson, where we focus on the science of conception. One boy out his hand up and said that there were, of course, sounding worldly wise, ways of having sex without getting pregnant. I nodded approvingly as I thought we were going to start talking about contraception. Yes, he says, you can stick your penis between a woman's breasts and then come on her chest. I suppose he isn't wrong. Hard to get pregnant like that. Took me by surprise though. Bruh we started in year 3. Always changing always growing or something like that. By year 6 we were made to watch a lady give birth and some poor lad fainted. Looking back that primary school was shit all around though so not surprised. No need to mention the incident. Yeah, I've had a few fainters. To be fair, the video is pretty hardcore. It's probably the same one still, the BBC one. They showed BBCs to 10 to 11 year olds. A kid in my class asked what is the stuff that girls orgasm out if males is sperm. Teacher said that girls don't ejaculate. The kid responded no they do I've seen it on the internet. During our sex education in the early 90s, which amounted to one hour of dividing the boys and girls of each grade, taking them into their respective classrooms, and going over very broad topics, we were allowed to anonymously ask additional questions we had by writing them on a flashcard and passing them to the front. I asked what would happen if a boy peed inside a girl. I watched as my flashcard was silently read by the teacher, then unceremoniously thrown away without being answered. To this day, I still don't know. I teach 11 to 13 year olds. All subjects. I was explaining the functions of spontaneous erection to a group of 40 12 year old boys. As you develop, and even into your adulthood, you will sometimes develop an erection at times that seem inappropriate. Just know that it's normal, and while it can be embarrassing, it does not necessarily mean that you are sexually attracted to anything or anyone at that time. Boy in the front row with his hand up, I have an erection right now, is that normal? Edit, thanks for my first gold anonymous redditor. I'm casual as all hell, so I have no idea what any of it means, but I appreciate the gesture. Not a sex ed teacher, but a 7th grade classroom teacher. I had one boy ask me, Mr XXXX, you know boobs, right? As he cupped his hands in front of his chest. I nodded. I'm sorry, I know this is a bad word, he said, but I don't know any other way to say it. Are boobs full of cum? Edit. Thank you for the awards. I don't deserve them. My ill-informed student does. That shit was hysterical. <coughs> not a teacher, but we had not a kids, and wrote questions anonymously. One asked, if both partners have long pubes, will they get tangled? How do you untangle them? And honestly, I never thought of that. The sound of opening velcro. <coughs> Once asked the question to a group of year 9 students, what do you do if you want to have sex and you can't find a condom? Student 1, male, surely you can find something in your house, maybe cling film. Student 2, female, yeah, or maybe tinfoil. Fucking tinfoil. My vagina just shriveled and died. <coughs> Not a teacher, but in grade 7 we had a box where you could anonymously submit questions one or two would be read at the end of class each day. My teacher pulled a question that read, what are anal beads? The whole class burst out laugh, including our teacher, and he just kinda threw away the piece of paper and said that we all clearly knew what anal beads were, but just in case they are sex toys. We were very promptly dismissed after that. I had a classmate who got a zero on a health assignment because he wrote anal beads on his paper. <coughs> ha. An untaught us sex ed. One of the lads asks her if when you stick it in do you just hold it there or do you wiggle it or what? She turned red and informed him it was an inappropriate question. So what's the real answer? Asking for a friend. Stick it in and maintain eye contact for as long as possible. <coughs> Had a classmate ask if he could use a water balloon as a condom. The point of a water balloon is to break and spill its contents. That is the exact opposite of the point of a condom. Next question. <coughs> My daughter is a high school health teacher. 
When I told her there's a reddit question directed at her she gave me these. Why do I feel happy in my pants when I see a girl? Is it true that a guy's balls will explode if he doesn't come? Most common question. Can you get pregnant from anal sex? Behold, the vast spectrum of knowledge and ignorance among middle schoolers. I asked the teacher how the sperm got into a woman and if she had to drink it from a cup to get pregnant. I have an anecdote for this. Back when I was a senior in high school, there was a big fuss happening in the school because apparently there were two freshman students that decided to be a little naughty during class while the lights were out for a movie or something. Now, the method of naughtiness was either a good old handy or a proper BJ, depending on who you heard the story from. Normally, no one would have known about this even happening because apparently no one in the class actually saw it happen. The whole school only found out after the girl on the giving end of this special favor told her mother she thought she was pregnant because she swallowed little dudes little dudes. Mom naturally freaked out and went straight to the principal and it somehow got around to the rest of the school after that. I always assumed that a student aide in the office heard the story and spread it around the school. The story going around school coincided perfectly with that year's yearbooks being circulated, so within a couple hours everyone in the school knew exactly who it was. One of my favorite moments from my high school days. We had health as part of our pet class, and they always got the pet teachers to teach it. And of course one week of it was sex edition. We had this dumb football coach who basically read us the textbook for a week, rather than actually deal with the subject. Not really because of any squeamishness, but mostly because it wasn't related to football, and that's all he cared about. I didn't know it was possible to make sex boring until I sat through that week of school. All of us were dozing off or just daydreaming. But the last day, someone raised their hand and said, Hey coach, how do you have sex? What's the process? Obviously, they were messing with the guy. The coach said, Uh, uh um, uh, um, uh, well, uh, um. Okay, so you got a donut and a banana. And goes on to tell us about how that would work. It was so bizarre. I'm a biology teacher, and we had some sex ed workers at school. One girl asked, about 13 or 14 why old, is it normal that you bleed after you took the morning after pill? Sex said, yes it is possible, long explanation why, girl, yeah because this is my 7th or 8th time and I bleed every time, does it ever stop? Sex said, um, next topic. <laughs> OMG I'll never forget a question a girl asked in my sex ed class, probably 7th grade, girl, does pee ever come out instead of semen? When a man ejaculates. Teacher. No. When a man ejaculates it is only semen. Girl. Okay. But what if P came out instead of semen? Teacher. That's not physically possible. As it's a separate system with urine versus semen. Girl. But what if it happened? Teacher. It can't happen. Girl. But what if it did? <laughs> not a teacher. But heard two amazing questions. Fifth grade sex ed. Student. Why does my mom scream during sex? Teacher, she's having fun. 10th grade safe sex education. Female student, if you're having anal sex and the guy comes inside you and then you fart, does it blow bubbles? Teacher, next question. I teach 5th grade. This is the time for the big talk in Indiana. I was roughly about 7 months pregnant. I was unmarried but engaged. My K was a pretty active participant in my classroom so all the kids knew him. He came on the field trip due to not having a male teacher available to go to supervise the boys. In Indiana, we still teach abstinence only. In the middle of the lesson, the instructor basically tells the kids that conception takes place after sex which can only happen after marriage. 30 seconds later, eyes are on me and a hand shoots up. One of my fabulous tiny humans blurts out, that can't be true. Mrs. isn't married and she is pregnant right now. How did that happen then? I'm pretty sure the instructor would have killed me in that moment had she been able to. And this was my TED talk on how I ruined the abstinence education by being pregnant and unmarried. Boy kid asked what if it gets stuck. Well, one time my friend's mom had a friend who had braces and was giving her husband a blow. Ended up having to go to the hospital to get his foreskin unattached from her braces. Edit. For those asking, I can't remember if she actually went to the hospital or not, but I know they called an ambulance. 
They then use tweezers and a little bit of that numbing stuff to get his dick off of her braces. Not a teacher, but way back in grade 6 we had sex ed and the teacher had us write down questions on paper one day. She told us not to put our names, because the next day we will be drawing the questions out of a hat to read aloud, and then the teacher would answer them. So, the next day, and my turn comes up to draw a question. I pull the paper out of the hat, and begin reading. Can women masturbate with a pillow between their legs? Signed. A female classmate's name. Whoops. Shouldn't have read that part. Not a sex ed teacher, but when I was in health we had a younger and fairly attractive female teacher. One of the guys in my class thought it would be funny to ask her favorite flavor of condom. She just smiled and said strawberry. None of us expected it. I'm not sure if the guy creamed himself from the mental image or wanted to die from embarrassment, but it was a great class. Not a teacher, but this happened years ago in my old elementary school, and I heard about it. Teacher, remember girls, it is always okay to say no to sex. Girl, can I even say no to my daddy? He went to jail. Edit. Formatting. I'm not a teacher. Back in grade school, one of my classmates asked the teacher during the sex education lessons about why his dad put fingers in his butthole, then made him cry, but still loves him. The student disappeared the next day. I only realized it years later. I once asked a sex ed teacher, can you hold in a shit if you have anal? Edit 1. This is what happened after and their response. The sex ed teacher was like the anus is a muscle and is not designed for getting penetrated so it can get loose. Apart from that I got weird looks and stares from people around my school and one of the teachers asked, do they need to have a special talk with me whatever that means. Top 10 questions science cannot answer. So if I have to ejaculate, I just run to the bathroom? Not a teacher, but when I was in the 8th grade this guy in my class asked if a male could get pregnant if he swallowed an egg. The teacher decided to let a student explain to him why he couldn't. That student was me. I'm a peer educator on sex ed and the most cringe worthy of the question for me was, will I get pregnant if my BFP's inside my vagina? OFFS. I'm not a teacher, but in 8th grade we finally had a health class at my private Christian junior high. The teacher was determined to do a correct and thorough job despite the obvious constraints put on her by the schools and the parents paying the tuition, of course, moral slash ideology. She got to the last day, so far so good. We learned all the proper names for stuff, how it works, though it was an abstinence only curriculum of course. So no methods of birth control were officially discussed, but she answered questions, and we got correct info about what condoms do and do not offer in terms of protection and general confirmation that there are also other forms of birth control. Anyhow, here's where it went sideways. Last day, she says we can anonymously submit written questions to a box and she will answer them all truthfully. We work through the box until she gets to one that makes her turn red. She's not embarrassed, but she sees the danger. She tells us she's going to answer this question after the bell rings. Anyone who wants to know what the question is can stay, and she'll read the question and answer it. Honestly, I was kind of embarrassed at the whole subject. I left when the bell rang. But it didn't matter, the whole school knew about it 20 seconds after she answered the question, because the guys literally burst out of the room shouting the answer. The question, is it okay to masturbate? She said it was natural. She was fired that day. TLDR, health teacher at a religious school, says masturbation is natural, gets fired immediately. If two gay guys are doing anal and the bottom farts, does that make the other guy's balls inflate? 